everyone, so I'm going to be bringing you an empties video today. I haven't done an empties video in a super long time, actually, like, months and months. So, ever since I got home, I've been trying to kind of corral the products that I've been using up. And I'll give you kind of like a mini review, kind of like a will I purchase again type of thing. And, yeah. Also, if you want to know what's on my eyes, I just got the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. If you'd like a tutorial on this look, please leave it in the comments. I'll be more than happy to do so. I'll probably actually end up doing it anyway, just because I love this look so much. But without further ado, let's get right into it. First thing I found was this La Vie Es Belle. I don't speak French. La Vie Es Belle. So I'm not going to guess, but i um, pretty sure I'm very wrong. But it's by Lancome, and I think this is the one that, like, Julia Roberts advertises. I got this little sample. I don't even know where I got it. Probably in a magazine or an order I made or something like that. And this stuff is so good. Like I kind of want to spray the last bit on me right now actually. It is so nice. I never really use the samples I get. Like they kind of just sit there and I end up throwing them away. But when I sprayed this the first time I was like I need to use this. And I actually had two of the samples and I went through both. It's so good. I definitely have too many perfumes right now, so I'm not gonna purchase it for a long time, but when I do want a perfume, it's definitely gonna be it. And then next is my H2O Dual Action Eye Makeup Remover. I talked about this in my June favorites, and it's pretty much at the bottom, but like I said, I did repurchase. I have a full size. I got it on the 70% off clearance at Kohl's, and I was so happy about that. So, this stuff is awesome. I love using it before I get in the shower. And even if you kind of wash your face and then you have that streaky eye, black shit that's on your face afterwards, um, if you want to like go over it with this, it's really great. Also, if you mess up, like, okay, I had this one, I use this NYC eyeliner, and it's pretty nice, but it transfers to the lid so easily. So annoying. So I literally had to take like five Q-tips and just like go right here. Not today, but like yesterday. Go right here and just like do this detailed work with this. And it was great. I didn't even need to reapply my eyeshadow because it just got off when I needed it to get off. It's great. So if you need a touch-up type of eye makeup remover, then I suggest this. Also, I just ran out of melatonin. I got my three milligram, and it's just the Target Up and Up brand. I use melatonin religiously because I have really bad sleeping problems, like really bad. I need to take this every day. Sometimes I try to just like, I have periods where I'm just like, I don't want to take it anymore. Um, and I try not to take it as much and it just, my sleeping schedule kind of needs this. I rely on this. So I take it about an hour before I go to bed and it just helps me fall asleep. But I don't know how to explain it, but it is kind of like an herbal... It's like a dietary supplement type thing, so it's not like a medicine medicine. So if you don't really like taking a lot of medicines, um, maybe you'd be interested in taking this because it is herbal, it is a dietary supplement, so it's just like taking, if you take like a vitamin C pill, that's kind of the same idea behind this. It's not a medicine. And I used up Taylor Swift Wonderstruck. This is another perfume sample. I did not like this straight up. I just don't think it... Wait, wait, let me... Let me Eh, I guess it's alright. It's alright, but I wasn't like super in love with it. I was kind of pissed because I had finished La Vie Espel, and then I had Wonderstruck and I was like, really? This is disappointing in comparison, but I mean it's alright. I'm not a Taylor Swift fan and I don't see myself getting this ever in a full size. And I have the weirdest products in this empties video. I have like dietary supplements, eye makeup remover, perfumes, and candles. <laughs> So I got a new candle. You know I should have put that in my favorites video. Oh well. In my July favorites I'll put my candle in there that I'm burning now. But I wanted to make sure I used my candles up that I had before I used up my new one obviously. So I used up my cinnamon frosting. I think I got this like two Christmases ago, this tiny one. I would burn this all year round because it smells like a cinnamon roll. And that's my favorite thing. I love food scents. So many people hate, 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 hate food scents. They hate like the vanilla, the sweet foods. They just think it's gross and it makes them nauseous. But I'm the person who's just like, yes, give me all of them. Like cookies and cupcakes, like frosted cookies. I had one of those. Like 
I love these. But this is the Bath and Body Works holiday one that I got in mini. Really nice. Definitely would get it if it comes around this holiday season. But also I can't burn candles in the dorm. So I probably won't grab it. But if I lived in an apartment and I could burn this, I would just keep rebuying it every year. And then I have this Ikea one and it's just like Tindra and it's just like a vanilla vanilla cinnamon kind of mixture. I like this if you don't want to spend a ton of money on a candle because they're only a few dollars and it's pretty nice but I mean I found these candles that are I'm pretty sure they're like knockoffs of Bath and Body Works um like instead of mahogany teakwood it was like mahogany driftwood or something like that but it has like the same kind of label on the front but it's Walmart. I see what they're doing there and it smells so good that's what I'm burning right now not the mahogany driftwood but a different kind that I'll sh show you in my favorites video so honestly since I found those giant candles for five bucks I don't feel the need to get like the Ikea ones anymore dang y'all I really thought I had something makeup related in here but I don't I would try to use up some foundations and concealers and powders and stuff like that so maybe my next empties I'll have those to share with you but this is just kind of been like a miscellaneous empties video let me know what you've used up recently or what you've hit pan on. I hit pan on so many eyeshadows now. I might go through all my palettes and talk about which eyeshadows I've hit pan on. Like my favorite eyeshadows from all the palettes I have. Because I mean, they've got to be a favorite if you hit pan. Especially when you have as much eyeshadow as I do. Which is too much. I need to hold off. Don't let me buy anything. I don't need any more stuff. <sighs> but yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, let me know what y'all have been using up, what y'all been hitting pan on, what you've been liking lately. Just talk to me. Yeah, that's it for this video, and I will see you guys next time.